The API connector in CData Connect Cloud lets you connect to any cloud-based API that produces XML or JSON data. This means that you can work with data from custom or proprietary APIs from your preferred cloud tools and applications. To begin, log into CData Connect Cloud and navigate to the Connections page. Click Add Connection and select API. You'll start on the Global Settings page, where you'll name the connection and configure the settings that apply to your API. We are connecting to the OData version 4 example service, so we'll leave authentication as none, but the most popular schemes are supported. It isn't necessary to set a header for the OData v4 service, but you can add API-wide headers here. If your API supports pagination, you can configure it here as well, denoting what type of pagination your API uses and configuring the specifics. You can also change the logging verbosity to get an in-depth look at what data is being returned by your API. By default, leave this set to 1. Once you've configured the global settings, you can save the settings and add tables. You'll be directed to the Tables tab where you can configure the virtual tables and views that represent your API endpoints. In this example, we'll connect with the People endpoint of the OData v4 service. Name the table People and navigate to the endpoint to see the data returned. We can see that the data returned is JSON and note that we were redirected, so we'll copy the URL from the browser for our configuration. Back in CData Connect Cloud, set the request command to get and the URL to the URL for our endpoint. From here, click the Configure button to navigate through the configuration wizard. We'll see the API response to confirm our configuration. Click Next. Select the objects to use for the repeated elements or those parts of the response that we want to treat as rows. Next, select the fields to use as columns. Notice that you can drill down into array objects to parse out individual values. Click Next to preview the tabular data. Back in the Add Table interface, we'll see that our repeated elements and columns have been filled in automatically, including the JSON path to the values for each column. In the same interface, we can configure any endpoint-specific parameters, headers, and filters. Click Save to save the configuration. Next, we can explore the API data in the Data Explorer. With the configuration of the API connector complete, we are ready to work with our API data in our preferred tools and applications. In this video, we'll import the data into an Excel spreadsheet using the Excel add-in, but you can connect from any of the supported client applications. And that's everything you need to know to configure a connection to an API using the API connector. To get started with CData Connect Cloud, visit cloud.cdata.com. Thanks for watching, and as always, you can find more resources at cdata.com.